So it's time for another experiment. It's experiment time. So I've been wondering uh, if there's much of a difference between stacking the subs that we get, the FITS files in the Deep Sky stack, or is it better, or does it make a difference to stack it in there or in Cyril? So I wanted to do an experiment and see how the results come out. So I'm going to take the same object. I think I'll use M1 just because it's visible. And I'll use the same number of exposures in Deep Sky Stack in the C-Star app and in Cyril and stack them, see if we can see any difference in how the final result turns out. Let's get started. So the first thing I am doing is I am going to stack the exposures in Cyril. And so I have launched Cyril. I have videos about how to do this. Um, I can link those in the description box or here, uh, but I don't want to go into extreme detail here. But I have got up here to this home button and set my home folder to that M1 subs folder. And that's where all of those lights folders are stored. So if I go on my computer, this is the M1 subs folder. I created that folder that's entitled lights. And inside this lights are all of the fits files from the M1 subs folder. And so if we go in here, you notice that we have 268 exposures in this folder. And so that's what we're going to process here in Cyril. So I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to use the scripts and I'm going to use that OSC pre-processing without DBF script. I have a video about how to do this. So if you're unsure what I'm doing or how that video will be linked. So I'm going to click that. It's going to run through all of those. Um, it shouldn't take too long for 280 exposures. Um, we're getting pretty close, I think. Yeah, so it's just going to run here. It's stacking all of those, stretching them, fitting them all together, and then it's going to plop it in to Cyril. So maybe I'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, so we are back in Cyril. It took one minute and 22 seconds to stack all of those images. If we look at this screen, it tells us right here that we stacked all 268 of the images. And this is where we're at. So it has saved that. If we go back to that subs folder, we now have a results file. Let's see, it's down here at the bottom because it's in alphabetical order. So if we go into Cyril now and we're going to open a file, it's going to bring up that M1 subs folder and it's looking for that results fit file. So we just double click on that. And of course it's black because we need to change it from linear to auto stretch. I'm going to change it to high definition and I'm going to uncheck that little chain icon right next to the auto stretch and this is what we've got in Cyril. So this is those 268 exposures stacked in Cyril. Uh, we haven't done any post-processing. We haven't saved it and done any enhancing at all. This is just what we get from Cyril. So let's go ahead and we'll do the other option in the Deep Sky stack in the app and we'll see how that goes. All right, so that we're on the same page. We're now back in the C Star app. The video is going to look a little bit different because I'm recording on a device, not on the computer. And so the video is going to look a little different. I'll try and enlarge it as big as I can so that it's visible. So we're in the C Star app. We're going to click on the Deep Sky stack in the middle, and then we're going to add the images. And we're going to look for that M31 subs folder. It's there on the bottom in the middle, second line up. Click there. We're going to add all of those exposures and click OK. And at the bottom, you see it says we're stacking 268 exposures. And 
That's why I chose this one because it's, well, for a couple reasons, because it's a visible one that is um, easy to see once we get it stacked. Um, from one exposure, it looks like nothing, but you stack a few and then it appears. But I also chose it because I have the same number of exposures on the C-Star itself as I do on my computer. So it would be easy to run this experiment using those same exact exposures that I'd transferred onto my computer. So here we are, we're at the deep sky stack. We've selected those 268 exposures and I'm gonna click stack. And now it's gonna go, it says it's gonna take 13 minutes and my guess is that you don't wanna sit around waiting for that. So I will pause you here and bring you back when it's closer to done. Okay, so I've brought you back. We have about 24 seconds left um, before it's completed the Deep Sky Stack in the Sea Star app. So we're going to compare them and see how they differ or if they don't. You know, uh, the question is kind of in my mind is why would I go to the trouble of downloading serial, figuring out how to work it to stack images if if the Deep Sky Stack stacks the images all on its own? Well, that's a question that I've been asking myself. And there are some other factors that play into it. So in the Deep Sky Stack, we're fairly limited into the adjustments we can make after the fact on the picture. We do have some editing tools in there that we can change the coloring a little bit. Uh, we can denoise. We can do a few things on the image after it's been stacked. Um, but I'm wondering if it is worth it or should I just do the deep sky stack in the C-Star app and then save that to my computer and work on it after that? Uh, there would be some limitations on doing that in the app, depending on the storage of your C-Star. If you had thousands and thousands of exposures, the C-Star just doesn't have the memory to hold that. And so you would have to stack those in something other than Deep Sky Stack. But if you just have small amounts of exposures, it's fairly easy to do the Deep Sky Stack. It's user friendly. You just click, click, click and it kind of does it for you and guides you along the way. So there are some advantages to doing it in the C Star app versus Cyril. Cyril or other software, there's a learning curve. You know, you've got to learn how to use it. Uh, downloading scripts, uh, you know, it can be a little overwhelming. So um, if you're just beginning, maybe the Deep Sky Stack is, is your method for now. Um, but let's compare. Let's do the check now and we'll compare them, see how it looks different. I'm going to enlarge it a little bit just so that you can see the difference. I am going to um, take an image of this picture and then we'll compare them side by side. I've switched the screens again. Uh, this is just pasting it in a Word document so we can compare them side by side. You can see quite a big difference, uh, but the C-Star app does do a little enhancing on its own, I think, just to make it um, appear nicer where Cyril, you're going to do that in Cyril. So there is a little bit of a difference. It's just going to take you a little bit more expertise in Cyril to make those work and look darker and, you know, do some processing. Um, if I zoom in, let's see, see the image itself doesn't look extremely different, but there's definitely more color in the C-Star image. So that's an interesting comparison. Okay, so once we have stacked the image in the C-Star app, we can go into the My Album and then click on the C-Star in the top center and then click on the M1 and then it lists all of the ones that were done today. So here's the one that I just produced and that's what it looks like in in the image I showed too. Um, but I wanted to show you that up in the top right hand corner, you can click on edit and then you can do some editing here. You can do the contrast and the brightness, darken the background, lighten it. You know, you can do those same 
things in the app that you could do while you were watching it stacking. So there's some more things that you can do in the app. You can crop and rotate things there. Um, so you can do some minor adjustments in the app. I'm just going to cancel those because I wasn't really doing it for show. But um, you can also do the denoising on that image you just stacked. And it's going to take about 15 seconds to do that. But it, um, the denoising, I have a love-hate relationship with the denoising. I, I love it sometimes because it really cleans things up, but I also hate it because it can sometimes make things look a little too fuzzy, you know, like that. It, it just is a little fuzzy around the edges. I don't always love it. It doesn't make things crisp. Um, the comparison, see this one didn't make a huge difference, but you see it's a lot more gassy around the edges. And I'm not sure I love that in all of them. I kind of like seeing the difference. But um, you can also export this to your phone so that you can save it with that little square in the top right-hand corner. Sorry, I keep getting texts and it's recording the screen. But um, you can export it to save it to your phone right there. Save image. Um, you can do more editing in here. You know, there are some things you can do in the C-Star app. So you're not limited extremely in the C-Star app, but you certainly have more options if you're going to do Cyril. But as a caveat, there's a big learning curve for Cyril or other post-processing software, and, and that could be a daunting task as well. So um, whether or not you're going to do it, I, I think for beginners, using the Deep Sky Stack is a great alternative, um, and you can produce great images just right on the app without having to download things and and try other software and hook it up to this and then download it into another place and you know it's it's a little overwhelming so if you're beginning the deep sky stack is a great place to start so thanks for watching wishing clear skies to everybody